Dantez Walton has just been playing at another level. I'm born and raised in Lima, Ohio. It's also known as Bean City. Dantez was a real class clown. He was very energetic. Got on your nerves. Didn't know when to quit. Yeah, she pretty much <laughs> hit it. Hit the devil on the coffee. Grace was always still A1. My mom made sure of that. Dad made sure of that. But uh, I was definitely just a class clown. I'm honestly just a mama's boy. He is a mama's boy because his dad drove a semi truck, so he was gone most of the time. So that's when me and him had the relationship, I guess. Wherever she is, I was literally like, I'm on her hip 24 7. I was always taught family is everything, and I still carry that with me. But I got an unbelievable support system. If they with me every game, then if you know them, they just gonna be the loudest over there. But they, it's in the right way, they cheering for me and cheering for my team as well. I attended Lyman Central Catholic, uh, home of the T-Birds. I really liked, enjoyed playing basketball, but at the same time, I had love for the game, but I didn't love the game. Open gym my freshman year, it was game bucket. And of course, he scored the bucket on me. I'm talking to Trey, he heated because we lost. You can't be getting bust for game, man. It ain't like, I'm gonna go to college off academics, like, I'm set. Man, I don't even take this serious, this is for y'all. Like, and it got me mad because I think I believed in it more than it believed in itself. From there, it was it, like things just started to change. He started taking the game a lot more serious, started working out more, started being more into his workouts. It really clicked to me how I was going to have to uh, really take this basketball thing serious when my mom got sick. He was just used to me always being there. I was head of the basketball mom's club, so and I was sent away to Columbus, Ohio. His last AAU year, he spent in Columbus Hospital with me. We'd go to practice and come back to the hospital. With our mom being the matriarch of our family, when she got sick, everybody just had to step up because she had been strong for us for all those years. Uh, she's in and out of the hospital for like probably over a year and seen her just pretty much just suffering. It was just devastating to me. I didn't want her to pay for my college and I just wanted to get a basketball scholarship so she didn't have to worry about that. That would be uh, less pain on her. Uh, I knew I really wanted to come to Northern Kentucky. My last AAU tournament, I still didn't receive an offer from Northern Kentucky. And I told my AAU coach, like, I think I'm gonna commit uh, tomorrow after the championship game. My AAU coach literally called NKU staff and told him, like, hey, Dantez, I just got done talking to him. He about to commit after the championship game tomorrow. And he really had his mindset on Northern Kentucky, but you guys have yet to offer. That's literally when I received my uh, NKU scholarship. Pretty much that's when I became a Norse. Uh, it was honestly a dream come true for us to just be on the same college team. I remember like literally praying for this to happen. He's here with me. Uh, it's a dream come true and I couldn't be happier, honestly. Literally coming from Lyme where I'm one of the best in the city. The freshman year, the whole season just being a bench warmer. So it was kind of just really hard for me just because I would have my family, you know how they support, as I always say. They would come to every game still and they just telling me like, boy, we're going to come to this game no matter what. Even if you don't get in, we're just still going to be here to support you. Senior season, I was kind of going down the same uh, path as junior season and just not playing the basketball I wanted to play. 
Uh, and then one of our key guys, Jalen Tate, got hurt. And then that's when things started clicking. I knew I was going to have to step up. Dantez has been great in the summer. He's worked harder than anyone I've ever seen, and it's paying off. The only player in the country with two games of 30 in time. And for Northern Kentucky, Dantez Walton continues a red-hot senior season. Coppin State, 24 and 9. Ball State, 18 and 6. Texas Southern, 33 and 10. Arkansas, 30 and 10. Eastern Kentucky, 18 and 9. Miami of Ohio, 32 and 8. Illinois State, 1976. Of course, Dantez Walton, who has been on a hot streak as of late. Three straight 30-point performances. After the Illinois State game, uh, we was in there a team lift. And we was bench pressing, and then on my last set, and I just felt the pop in my uh, shoulder, like pec area. Found out I had a torn pec. They didn't know how long I would sit out. They was really just deciding the surgery, no surgery. Horizon League in the non-conference, Dan Tez Walton, who is averaging 18 a game, is back after missing 10 games with a chest injury. If there was a mid-season Horizon League player of the year, it would have been Dan Tez Walton, not just because of his scoring, but his rebounding and presence. It helps everybody on this Northern Kentucky team. Uh, I was a little tired, a little rusty at first, but uh, my teammates had my back, and once they seen my face after I hit my first shot, just overly excited, couldn't wait to get back out there with the guys. Like, it just clicked, and then everything just got to going. Dantez Walton missed 10 games with an injury, Brad, but he has picked up where he left off in his third game back. Well, yeah, in his debut, he had a double-double, and he's back at it again, and it's just great to see him back. I mean, really, before the injury, you could argue that he was playing, like, not just the best player on Northern Kentucky's team, but the best player in the conference. Now that I look back on all the years of me just playing basketball, one piece of advice I'll give everybody is to just grind it out, just stay the course. And no matter what you're going through, just come in every day and be consistent. Literally, that's pretty much the story of my basketball career, just trying to come in every day and be consistent. Now that I got hurt, it made me just look at things different because just pretty much cherish the moments that we all have because it could be gone in a second. I'm not surprised that he's, you know, where he is now due to him having to battle with like a lot of stuff. A lot of people don't think they seen it at first, but now it's like, okay, we see what Walt can do. I, I feel that he, he's come a long way. He's destined to, to play pro ball, I believe. Even with him on or off the court, he has always been that leader. He have always kept good grades, always been on the honor roll. And like I told him, once you do all that good, basketball will fall into place, and it did do that for me. I'm very proud of Dantez. He's always been the person that played his role, regardless of what it was. He stayed grinding independently, so now he's in the position to be the leader. First Nation means a lot to me. We got a great fan base, great community behind us that support us. But uh, I would just truly like to say thank you to pretty much each and every one of the fans we have. We really do appreciate you, and let's just end this year off strong and just keep going at it. Hope to see you guys Friday. Come out and support. It's going to be senior night. Celebrate the three seniors, me, Tyler, and Carl. Just come out and be loud. It's our last time playing at BB&T. Let's just make this one a great one. Dantez Walton, also known as Boss Walton. I call myself nation and country, best shooter in the country. I also go by Walt, Big Walt, Walt Daddy, you name it. I'm senior four here at Northern Kentucky University, and I'm signing out. Peace.